So, hi, my name's Andrew Nairn. Uh, I'm representing Bright Ascension. So, just a few uh, quick uh, facts about ourselves. In fact, we've been around for a few years now, uh, but very much focused on the upstream uh, software market. So, we're specialized in software for space, uh, mainly for CubeSats, uh, small satellites, and uh, uh, yeah, we're, we're a very much an upstream uh, company. Um, we have quite a lot of experience with uh, software on uh, CubeSats, around 40 spacecraft fly with our software on board. Um, but the reason that we're pitching to you today is actually about uh, where we're going next. So, um, What's obvious is that if you want to deliver an efficient service in space, then you uh, need uh, a very coherent uh, system uh, system to back that up. Um, and it has to cope with many changes as you go along. Changes to hardware, revolution uh, with providers, something's going obsolete or out of date, and you're constantly having to renew and update it. Um, and so you, you really need something to underpin uh, all of that as you as you build your system and try to maintain it over a long number of years. So our founders come from a software uh, model engineering based background in software. Um, and so what we're doing is taking our technology and uh, trying to provide something that goes all the way from the very start of your development all the way down to providing the service at the end. So what would make this difference, or what makes a difference? It's about seamless integration. So an awful lot of it, the problems you meet are at the boundaries between different elements. And so this is about taking the model and making the integration seamless all the, way, all the way through to the end. By doing that, then what you should get is faster development and getting through your different stages and processes more easily. Um, it reduces the risk, makes it a lot simpler. Um, it should make uh, less strain on development and resources, so you don't have to engage huge staff just to try and get through the process. And at the end, of course, you're hoping for higher reliability, and all of that should bring you uh, significant cost savings. And one of the key elements of, if we're going from upstream to downstream, is in fact part of the downstream offer, which is um, what we're going to provide is basically a platform which lets people, which takes care of all of the low level stuff and just lets people focus in at a service on the very high level tasking and the monitoring. Um, this would be applicable to any service you want to provide, whether it's around Earth observation, communication, science. It can be around the provision of data or it's also targeted at those companies that want to do value added on top of data. So transformation of data into value added products. Um, it's fully integrated, and as I said, it's mainly for those, any organization basically trying to give something which is easily accessible, um, an, interface, an easy interface for either their customers or other stakeholders that they might have. Um, so here's just a few of the points, but it's about uh, giving a platform, it's about seamless operation, um, it's a customer that specifies the functionality, it's not us. Um, it's about white label uh, approach, so it's really about providing a framework rather than us doing it. It's really about a framework for, for our clients. Uh, the idea is at the end is that it can be very extensible. We want it to be quite open, uh, even if it's a commercial product, so to allow the customer to basically go on and develop what they want to do and develop their business model. Uh, based on the infrastructure that we provide. So if you want to know more, you can contact us. Uh, we're part of the Scottish startup, so we're on stand 171 over there, not far. Uh, there may be a few drinks this evening, but I'm not allowed to say that.